Okay, and welcome back to Magic Cat Security. Showing you another tutorial today. I'm gonna go ahead and whoop, that's our recorder. There we go. Bring up our operating system. Let's go ahead and go full screen. There we go. Give it just a moment. There we are. Okay, so I'm glad you could join us. Uh, we're moving right along in our series. This would be tutorial number seven if you're following along in order, um, which I, I, I strongly suggest. Um, you can always refer to um, my website also at uh, magiccat.com, um, which of course will have uh, some additional goodies for you, make, um, some downloads and things like that as we move through uh, the series here. And uh, as always, we're on our Parrot Security OS. Um, just my my chosen um, Linux distro that I prefer, and uh, there's reasons for that because we're going to be going through pen, ten pen testing also, and uh, some some hacking tricks and goodies eventually. So so far we've been going through um, how to customize your system. We've installed it, and we've been going through different steps of how to customize it a little bit in the terminal. Um, of what to do in there so we're gonna go through some more customization today and um, this is some quick little easy things here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually install something that will give you some extra goodies to play with okay go ahead and type test dummies password in there so we can get to our Snaptech package manager Snaptech, Snaptech, however you want to say it uh, to each his own and we're going to do a search I said we're going to do a search, there we go okay and we're going to put in Conky C-O-N-K-Y alright and let it do its thing here here we go Okay, so here's Conky, and we're gonna go ahead and select that. Market for installation. Okay, and then we're gonna get one other additional item that goes with that that's going to be uh, vital and easy use, uh, and that's the Conky Manager. So we're gonna mark that for installation also. And we're gonna hit apply, and apply again, and let it go through its little install here. And of course it's going to first grab all the packages it needs and and then it will go through installing them, expanding the packages and installing them as needed. And this will be a quick little install. Not many files needed there. There we go. Alright, so you see that they're colored in now, so those installed along with their dependencies. So we'll close the package manager. Now if we go to applications and accessories, we have Conkey Manager here. So we'll click on that. <coughs> now, what this is going to do for you, I'm about to show you in just a moment. It comes pre-installed with some goodies, but you can find more. Okay, and I'll show you that also. Uh, real quickly, but if we select these we get to see what they do um, You may have noticed in In my uh, system that I sometimes have a cool little thing here on the side of the screen It shows basically all my readings for my system That I like to keep aware of like the memory usage and the CPU and all that so I can tell if something's got a memory leak and getting out of control or whatever um and it looks really cool, you know? So here's how you do that with Conky. And we select an item. Right there, here we go. And we can see what it looks like. And this one looks like it's jumbling up a bit. So, But they also have some themes, which will give you a combination of items. We select that. There we go. And we see what we have here. So. <clears throat> now I'm not going to worry too much about the overriding right now on this particular one because I basically just want to 
show you how to get it up and running. Now, the thing is, with this one, see, we're, we're not supposed to be able to do that. That's not a good thing. But we can fix that also. Okay, so we're going to deselect it. Let's close the Conky Manager. Now, for cases like this, this is why we need to know our way around the terminal. So, to open your terminal, hit Alt T, and that will bring your, your terminal up, our epic portal. <laughs> okay, so then we're going to do, you know, we're in our home directory, so I do an ls for list, but we need to see all the directories, so let's do an ls hyphen a. Okay, and we hit that, and if you look real close, I'll put the cursor over here, you'll see we have a conky folder that's hidden, see, because it has a period in front of it. But that's what we're going to go inside of. CD period C O N K Y. And we're in there. Let's list what's in there. Now see, we've we've got the Green Apple desktop that we're trying to activate. So we're going to CD into that. And I particularly chose to do something like this one because rather than like Gotham, because you'll notice there's something special at that. See how it has the quotations there and it will give you errors if you just tell it to go into green apple desktop whoop I can't spell today there we go because it's going to read that as green and then apple and it's there's no green folder so we need to let it know that so you use quotations also however you're going to use actual quotations not the single the double quotations and type green apple desktop okay and then hit enter and remember, you don't have to type all that. You can start typing it and hit tab on the keyboard and it will auto-complete for you if it exists, okay? So now we're inside there. Take a look. Now the C mod is the one that we need to tackle because it's just not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And we can see the C mod file right here, you see? Okay, so we're going to do something with that one. So we need to open it and since we're going to edit it we need to be um, an admin <coughs> pardon me I've been raining a lot here lately and messing with my sinuses so I do apologize but I have to clear my throat or cough here and there but we have to be a, an admin or super user so we're going to do our super user do our sudo and we're going to use nano to open it and conky whoop conky underscore and then cmod we can hit tab and it'll finish that out we're at enter and of course it wants test dummies password there we go all right so here's the cmod file now this is all the settings and it's kind of like a configuration file for this particular mod and there's a couple things you want to have set for one thing, this one right here, where it says own window type, should be normal. Okay, there are other things that can be. Um, it can be overwrite, it can be um, desktop, etc., etc. But we're kind of getting a desktop um, application now because it has the title bar. You can grab it and move it around, and we want it to just meld into the desktop. Okay, so here's why it's happening why you can move it around because apparently a long time ago someone templated uh, one of these uh, configuration files and made a typo and didn't catch it and they've been sharing this template around and a whole bunch of people have been using the same template and so the same typo keeps getting copied over and over and if you see this word right here undecorate should be undecorated okay so then we Save this by Control X, Y, and then Enter. Okay, now we can uh, exit out of here. All right, so let's go open Conky Manager again. There we go. We're going to go to the themes and we're going to select this one again. And look at that the title bar is gone and it's gone end to end, top to bottom melded right in so and it's not overwriting anymore so that's a good thing too all right so then if you wanted to 
if you look over here um, by this little um, looks like a, an equalizer button to me but this little button these are application settings so I can tell it run conky at startup okay switch that to on so then this will run with the system anytime I boot up the system this will come on automatically I won't have to go turn it on every time okay and you can change um, locations of your widgets if you want um, I'm not sure if it will work with the theme itself um, you, wow you can actually change the custom wallpaper if you want to uh, which makes sense because it's a theme um, but if we're doing just the widgets you can also move a widget around like and we can add more now this is actually two widgets to create this theme and within a conky theme you can include the wallpaper and uh, more than one widget and um, some icons that appear over them and such um, or the real uh, fancy ones some more complicated ones but um suppose we wanted to put a little bit more information out there uh, on our desktop so let's take a look at this one and uh, I'm gonna kind of widen this out a bit so we can see the example image it gets us now I don't have a NVIDIA card in this computer so that's really not going to do me much good just like some of them you may need to edit the file if you really like it and you want it to work perfectly there may be one or two things within the widget itself that don't register properly <clears throat> and you have to set it for your system which you can do um, let's, let's see here now see this is a I have up and download speed right there um, and I sort of have, have well I have pro processes right there so but what if I wanted to do a thing that gave me an individual reading of all four cores of my CPU like this one here okay so what I will do is I'll select this one see and there it is now suppose I didn't like this location all right I, I just I don't want it over there in the bottom left let's say well right here on the widget edit button now remember this one's for settings okay for the whole application this is for the individual wid widget now right beside it this is supposed to be a button that you can click it and edit the file as needed but uh, for some reason that quit working in the latest version that's why we went in with our terminal and edited the file manually we just went directly to it so which is probably a more efficient way of doing it anyway because uh, you'll need sudo to edit the file and all that so but we're gonna click on edit widget and we do have some things we can change here now we can actually change the gap or distance um, from the edge or border of the window and see the alignment bottom left now what if I went to I don't know let's see um, top left and we hit apply boom it goes to the top left if I go top middle hit apply boom it's in the top middle and what if I did let's see bottom right now I want you to see what happens here see it's gonna go right over the top of that widget so that's no good unless you adjust the vertical gap uh, I mean pardon me horizontal gap um, we can actually move it around simply by increasing the gap until we get it to a point that we like it We'll actually go down just a little bit, just kind of snug it up next to our other widget there. A little, just increments, little increments at a time. Now we're getting close. There we go. That's about right. Um, we can adjust the size, which I don't always recommend, um, but you can adjust the size. And you see the padding also. Transparency. Um, if you want them to appear like this so that it's actually more like it's part of the desktop and you notice we can see through them the wallpaper behind it then pseudo transparent is the best choice now they do have transparent semi-transparent opaque blah 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 blah. but the pseudo transparent normally is the best choice um, time if it's had a clock on it um, 
we could set it from 12 hour to 24 hour format and if it had anything to do with the interfaces such as your your um, your signal strength uh, for Ethernet or Wi-Fi then you can adjust it here for the name of the particular interface so it's different than what's shown so then we could close that close this and look at there we have some cool widgets on our desktop and we can we can open things over the top of them or around them and it's actually part of the desktop now so like if we open our file system we can just kind of float the window over there I can't grab anything and move it see it's it becomes part of your desktop and it's it's just a cool little thing to have um, doesn't really use up a ton of resources either so it's not bad at all and see this has already started running uh, it's giving us our overall CPU but it's also showing the reading of each individual core of the CPU here and you know what I put <laughs> Let's let's go back to that because um, I am going to correct something just to show you. Um, this laptop has uh, a, a quad core, but when I set up the VM, if you were with us when we did that and did the install, I told you there that you should never use more than half the actual resources of what your system has. So I set this up for a a dual core or two processors um, so I really can't use the four processor in this one so let's go back to this and we're gonna switch that out to the dual core and we're gonna do our adjustment right we'll go to uh, the location yes we're gonna put it on the bottom right apply and then we're gonna do our little adjustment right and I think that was about there. Oh, was it a little bit further? Almost there. There we go. Nice and snug. Um, we can actually bring it down a tad too. So it gets right snug up to our panel there. There we go. So now we have the two, two core, which is the correct one to be using with this. And we can see it's already starting to get some readings here and here and here. So that's how we set up Conky. Hope you enjoyed that uh, this tutorial. And like I said, please visit visit me uh, on my website also. Um, if you found this on my YouTube channel, great. Um, my website is at magiccat.com, and uh, that's M A J I K. All right, uh, the pagan spelling. Uh, not the one you're probably accustomed to seeing and I have plenty of goodies here uh, other tutorials for you to look at um, very soon some files and such to download uh, unless this uh, is a rather old tutorial by the time you see it there may already be some nice little downloads here for you so thank you for joining us and have a great day